Hey guys, how's it going? What's happening? How you doing? Thank you for stopping back again and clicking on the video. And anyways, let's get on to this friggin' beer review. <laughs> um, already had this a uh, few times, but I said I had to save one for a beer review because I wanted to do an official review of it and just sort of pour it up real quick and let you know what I thought of it. This is from the Okanagan Springs Brewery, British Columbia, Canada. It is the Pale Ale. There you go, huh? Pale Ale. It's their average, you know, their normal sort of uh, run-of-the-mill type of ale, but it is, it is craft brewed. It's got no preservatives, and it's all natural. And it's cool the way they put the. They, they got a lot of information here on the bottle. They show you what foods to pair it up with, and it says uh, it says the craft of making a true pale ale, the taste and uh, the taste and quality of our pale ale is what we mean when we say craft brewed inspired by beer lovers we use the best ingredients longer brewing times and exacting uh, care each step of the process it's five percent alcohol by volume uh, first brewed in 89 color is copper is sort of a copper best served between 9 and 11 degrees celsius 341 mils let's crack this Sucker and get it over with. All right, get it, get on with it. I'm sorry. Yes, uh, brewed by Okanagan Springs, 1989. This species, original favorite pale ale. Let's snap it. Let's crack it and pour it. Give it up a quick pour here and get on with this. I don't want to make this video too too long. There you go. With a bit of a an aggressive pour. I got almost two fingers there. Not quite. A finger and three quarters of a finger. Okay, so there's what the uh, and there's what the Okanagan Pale Ale look like. There's what the Okanagan Pale Ale looks like, really quick. A bit of a dark, like it says on the on the bottle. It's a, it's a little dark. It's on the dark side, the copper color. So we've got some chill haze, but you can see through it a little bit. Yeah, so it's not much of a Have a sniff, a quick sniff. Should I cover it? Should I not? I still smell the same whether I cover it or not. It still smells the same to me. Uh, I can smell lots of hops. Like I can smell the hops and Yeah, the malt. It's got a good malt it's got a pretty good malt smell to it too, so. I can smell that typical, uh, you know, the, 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 it's got, uh, for the most part, it's got that typical ale smell that you get from a good ale. You know, get not, not, not a mass-produced ale, but more, more of a good ale, like an English ale. It's got that sort of smell, like a good English ale. Kind of like the old speckled hen, you know, similar smell. Yeah, very similar smell. Let's taste it. This is a pretty good beer. I mean, you can just tell, just by tasting it right off the bat, I mean, you can tell that it's a friggin', it's a good craft brewed ale. I mean, it's, I mean, it's similar to a, to a typical, like, I mean, it has some minor similarities to a typical ale, like a, even a mass produced ale, but you can just tell that it's better produced, like it's there's be better quality that goes into this. You can tell, I mean, the flavor is, is much more inviting it's just it's well you know it's well rounded it's well balanced you know the flavors the hops the malt there's pretty good malt to it there's more malt than a, than an average uh, mass-produced ale that's for sure but it, no this is actually a very good beer I mean it's typical like it's a typical beer it's not and when I say typical it's not like it's not an IPA. It's not a. It's not a porter or a stout, or it's not a something that's really malty or anything like that. But it has. It has a good maltiness for being. It's good. I mean, it's it's a very good. It's a very good ale. It's not very pale, as they say, but I mean, it's not very on this more. And like, I guess they just named it pale ale. Just to the. I thought I. I, I don't know. I was under the impression that pale means a very light color, but this is not a very light color. That's for sure. But no, 
It's 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 good. It's actually a really good beer. This is the second time I went out and picked it up. I only wish that I could get it in, in, in bigger packages, like a 12 pack, because it's good. It's um, it's pretty. It's you know, I I would have to say that it's pretty darn close to to, to just brewing your own all grain, partial or all grain, um, typical ale. Like, you know, it's it's good. I quite like it. And I only wish that they sold it in bigger bigger boxes around here. They only sell it in a six pack. That's it. So I mean, if you want more than six, you got to buy a double. You got to buy two six packs. Anyhow, it's a very good beer. Um, as far as the pale ale is concerned, as far as that category is concerned, I'd have to give it my own personal opinion. I'd have to give it a four to five because it's good, and that's a generous four to five. It's a nice beer. It's the only Okanagan Springs I've had yet, so. But I do like it very much. And also, it's very sessionable, too. It's very easily sessionable. No problem to sit down and drink a six pack of these guys. Anyways, that's what I give her. Four out of five, generous four to five for the Okanagan Springs Pale Ale. Thank you guys for stopping by. Cheers. Thank you very much. And, uh, well, I'll see you soon, right? Keep your mugs full.